Brian and Emily met four years ago while they were living in the Caymans. The serious relationship process sped up to warp speed when, one month into dating, Emily broke her leg in a major way. Brian stepped up to take care of her and met her whole family, slept on the couch in the hospital, and began walking Emily to the bathroom, which is an activity that's generally reserved for after marriage by about 50 years or so. But again, I'm unaware of most of the rules for these two. Emily and I, from very early on, were, she's my best friend. We were on the same page. We're always on the same page about pretty much everything. And for us, you know, the marriage is a chance to bring our families together. So we're just seeing everybody, seeing how happy everyone is, it makes us so happy. It, it all just feels completely right. It's been really stressful planning the wedding, and I know, Emily, you are feeling that stress. And I, I really hope that you can take a breath and enjoy the day. I love you very much, and I, I can't wait to stop saying fiancé and start saying wife. Brian is the sweetest guy I've ever met and just like right from the get-go and you know you don't have to do anything in exchange to get his kindness he's just naturally like that I don't know I've just known straight from the start like we've always we clicked instantly and um, I don't know he's just so special and great and it's so simple and easy to be with him, and I just love it. You look beautiful. I love you very much. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. For today and tomorrow. For today and tomorrow. And for all the days to come. And for all the days to come. Wear it as a symbol of what we promise today. Wear it as a symbol of what we promise today. According to the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Mazel tov. You may kiss. It is my pleasure to pronounce to you Mr. and Mrs. Winter. You know better than most that the story you plan to tell and the one you end up with are two very different things. But I cannot think of a better person to have by your side than Brian. If you need somebody to brighten your day with curiosity and wit, Brian is your man. If you need someone who can intuit what needs to happen and cheerfully get it done, Brian is your man. And for Emily, if you want to be loved and challenged and supported, and know that you always have someone on your team. We hope you cherish having Brian as your man. We are all just looking for that glass of sweet tea that brings you comfort and a sense of home and love. So here's to y'all finding what your sweet tea is and being able to enjoy the highs of life and being able to sip on sweet tea on your worst days. So, to finding our own sweet tea, Emily and Brian.